Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today I'm going to walk you through the process to set the sag on an off-road or motocross bike. Our example we're going to be working with today is a new model from Suzuki, but this procedure will apply to whatever make and model you may have. Motion Pro makes a great tool that's easy to use and the measurements are easy to replicate over and over again so you know you're getting an accurate measurement. So the first measurement we want to make is what they call just an at rest. That means we want it to be sitting on a stand, there's no load on the suspension whatsoever, it is extended all the way down. And what you're looking for is the distance in between the axle and any known point that you're going to replicate up on the top of the motorcycle. So you're basically just wanting this distance wherever you pick. Now where we're going to go is from the axle and I want to be able to actually touch a point right there on the plastic. So that's where I'm going to go. And that'll be the same measurement or same point that I'm going to measure when the bike is loaded. So that is our zero point. So what we're going to do next is bring in the rider, have him sit on the machine, let it settle, and then we're going to remeasure and see what the sag is set at. All right, guys, we've got the rider in position. Now, I would recommend that he have on all his equipment, whatever he's riding for that day, because any change in weight is going to make a difference as far as the sag goes, of course. But what we're going to do is measure from the axle to that same point where we got the at-rest measurement. And because the Motion Pro is already set up with a scale, there's no addition or subtraction that we have to do. You just put it up, you look at the same point, and we're sitting there at 108. Now the last measurement we need to take is just the machine sitting at rest. Now I've got it balanced against the stand. I've already settled the suspension. You know, I pushed it down a little bit and then let it come to its natural state, and we're gonna make that measurement. Same point, and we're, let's call that 51. Well, all right, guys, there you go. With this simple little tool, it makes it easy to repeat those measurements over and over again accurately. And that's important to do when you're trying to set up the machine quickly, depending on what type of riding environment that you're in and what type of equipment that you're wearing. That way it's predictable in the way it's going to handle for you. Now, which settings are going to work best for you? I have no idea. That is up to you to figure out. I mean, you've got a range you can work with but it's really what makes you feel comfortable on the machine, writing those numbers down and then repeating them over and over again. Well, listen, if you need this tool or any other parts for your machine, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments about this video, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Partzilla and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.